Hey game developers, Blau from Zenfinity.net and welcome back to the C-Sharp Fundamentals for Unity course. And if you haven't watched the previous episode on delegates, go ahead and check that out right now by clicking on the card in the top right. Otherwise, just go ahead and follow along with me right now. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about generics, which are basically a way to allow us to perform an action on many different objects, but using only one context. Right. And if that doesn't really make sense, um, you can think back to uh, inheritance and interfaces and those will both kind of do the same thing but they require more um, configuration right so inside of a class we might need to say this class uh, inherits from this other class or this class uh, is composed of this other interface right or it implements this interface um, and so with generics we can kind of go past doing all that and then uh, use it in a function, for example, or in a class definition. So it it's kind of a more permissive interface implementation. So I'll go ahead and just show you to begin with, because that's kind of the easiest way to understand it, I believe. Um, and I'll give you an example of how we use this very often in C Sharp, right? So uh, we want to make sure we have collections generic up here. And I'll create a private static list. Right, um, and notice these uh, less than and greater than signs. Right, so this is kind of the syntax for a generic type. Right, um, we'll say in the definition, we'll use these to say we can put any generic type in here, uh, and then over you know where we're making the actual object, we you know put a type in here so we can say int, for example, and we'll call this like numbers. Okay. Right, and so now we, we've just used the generic type um, and we've put integers inside of where that would be, right? And so that's something you use very commonly. Um, and if you've used Unity, then you've of course seen get component, which will do the same thing, um, but then, you know, rigid body, for example. Okay, so I'll go ahead and delete this. Um, and I'll begin with by writing a function here, right? So public static. Uh, void print everything in list. Okay, and boom, this is where we put our generics. And so I'll put in an I list. Again, that's from collections generic. Um, and then we'll say, oh, sorry, this should be G. <laughs> and then we'll say G um, I list, or just list. Um, okay, and now um, I was writing I list because I want to show you something in just a little bit. Um, but first, obviously, we can just send, you know, something to this function, right? So print everything in list, um, and we can put in numbers, right? Uh, so that just lets us, you know, we don't have to write the generic type again here because it already knows, okay, so the generic type is going to be a list of integer because it's using the same G as it is in the declaration. Okay, so that's how that works, and we can obviously compile this and we won't see anything. Um, when we run it, so that's everything for that. But what if I wanted to print everything in the list, right? So I'm using a generic, um, and what if I just want to pass lists to it and print everything, right? So let's say for int i equals zero, i is less than list dot. And oh no, I don't have, you know, <laughs> see, I don't have a count or a length or anything like that because this is a generic and um, it's kind of like if I were to just type an object there and then expect, um, okay, there's an object named list, so I can get all the <laughs> accounts from that object, right? And you can't, so there's a neat little trick here you can do, um, which is saying where G is a type of uh, I list, right? So now it's forced um, to say G is a type of I list. Uh, and I believe I don't have system. Oh, okay. So we need system dot collections regular uh, for the I list. Okay. So so now we can type in like count. Okay. Uh, and then we can do an I plus plus here. Okay. And so now we can actually print everything inside the list. So I'll write um, console dot write line. Okay. Uh, and then list of I right. Okay, so now if we were to run this, obviously nothing would happen because numbers is empty. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and change this to an array. So int numbers, 
I'm going to use the initializer here and have a hard time configuring it. Okay, so then I'm going to do one, two, three, and four. Okay, um, so now we have an array of numbers and it should print one through four, right? So I'll hit start and we see one through four. Perfect, okay, so now we could do this with um, anything, right? So like I could change this to a string and then we'll say, I don't know, hi. I'll say, hi, my name is, right? Okay, so I'll hit start, and we see, hi, my name is. Okay, so that's actually everything I want to show you with generics, so just make sure to hit like and hit subscribe to see the rest of all of these. And with that said, I will see you in the next one.